Joseph, leading in the land, allowed his family to settle in the best part of the land. God wants the best for me. Oh, God yes. wants the best for you. God wants the best. The best for every child. The I best for every that. daughter. He finds pleasure in the prosperity of his May you prosper. I will see in everything that. you do, may you prosper. In the name of Jesus. As Israel settled in the land known as Goshen, they multiplied. And so came, after many, many, many years, a king that did not know Joseph. And he began to oppress the children of Israel, not knowing what God has done for them. He saw a threat in them. The king looked and observed and said that if our enemies come, this mighty nation, mighty people, might join with them and destroy us. You know, when you shine, the enemy is threatened. Oh, when yes. you grow, the enemy is threatened. Yes. When you become visible, the enemy is threatened. Oh, yes. Those of you who are criticized, do not hang yourself. Know that you are only criticized when you are noticed. Uh, they have noticed you, that's when they will throw stone. But the word of God says, be ye not afraid. Mm -hmm. For a thousand may fall on your side and ten thousand on your right side. It shall not come near yeah, thee. Me. I prophesy over you that no weapon form that I guess you shall prosper. This is the word of God for you listening to me. This is a presentation of Hallelujah Ministries International. So Moses went and confronted Pharaoh. Pharaoh was shocked and surprised to see that the person they were running after, a fugitive, is coming himself. This time bold. <laughs> this time unshaken. With a word from God. You see, something happens when you meet God. You are no longer the same. Are you receiving? Once you encounter God, you become bold. You say, that says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go. It is over. The Lord has pronounced. It is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Let my people go. Oh, after being stabbed on the wall, the Lord manifested his glory and whipped the Egyptian, setting Israel free. It was a great deliverance that day as God, the truth, stretched his uh, invisible hand and stopped the flow of the river, the Red Sea, and made a way where there seemed to be no way, causing the people of Israel to cross to the other side. Bear feet the cross and as the Egyptian also wanted to cross the Lord removed his hand and they drowned in the very river God is bringing a deliverer for your deliverance I receive it the Bible says, as they go to the other side, Miriam, the sister of Moses, with the women of Israel, took tambourine and they begin to sing praise. They began to dance the dance of God. They began to shake the body. They began to jump and shout. They began to call out. For when God delivers you, you praise Him. When God sets you free, you give Him glory. I receive it. You know, Often time when they look at us scream, when they look at us dance, they think that, that we have fallen on our head or something is going wrong with us. They do not understand our pain, so they will never catch our praise. You see, if you have not been part of the pain that I've been through, you'll not know why I'm excited oh, yes, the way I true. am now. For I came to realize that if it was not for the Lord, who was by our side, Jesus. I could have not been here. Maybe COVID it. could have taken me. Maybe I would have lost my mind. I would have lost my family. Maybe everything that I have could have disappeared. If it was not for the Lord, who was on my side, oh, where could I be? be? My God. Allow me to praise him. Allow me to jump. Allow me. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Don't you ever stop me. If you see me jump, let me jump. If you see me shout, let me shout. If I go crazy, let me go crazy. Let me go crazy for my God. For what he has done for me, no one could do. I... Glory to Jesus. Through the supernatural power of God, the Lord began to lead the multitude of those who yesterday were slaves to a better land, the promised land. Along the way, the journey from slavery to a place promised where milk and honey flows 
There is a process he wanted them to go through. And in this process, God wanted Israel to be transformed. Because it is one thing to be out of Egypt. Jesus. It is another thing to get Egypt out of you. My God, very true. Certain purity had to be found in the children of Israel. So God manifested his glory, broke the unbelief, challenged the rebellion, and times and times again showed them the way by giving them his word. The Bible says God called Moses to be with him. And the day he was in the presence of the Almighty God for 40 days. And 40 days and 40 nights in the mountain away from people, God wrote on tablets, commandments for those people he had set free to build them, to mold them, to transform them, to align them correctly, to fit what his desire, his perfect desire entailed. And in the commandment that the Lord had given them, I read with you one and reveal to you something critical. And if you may, then you will go home with something. In the book of the immigration of Israel, the book of Exodus, <laughs> chapter 20, verse 1 to verse 6, if you can, at the count of three, join me as we read together one, two, and three. And God spoke all these words saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and the fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. Glory to Jesus. It is interesting that as God began to give them the word on which they had to firmly stand, he began by putting the picture clear. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Never, ever forget what God has done for you. I receive this word. Amen. Never. He said, it is I who did that. And he began to tell them, because it is I, the source of your deliverance. This is how you walk with me. You should not prostitute yourself spiritually. My Jesus. Uh, if you get shocked, let me tell you that there is what is known as spiritual prostitution. My God. I am here and there and there and everywhere. He said, no. You shall have no other gods before me. Yes. Don't put anything above me. Don't put anything equal to me. Don't put your strength equal to me. Don't put your marriage equal to me. Don't put your money equal hey. to me. Don't put your ambitions equal to me. Don't put your plans equal to me. Don't put My your interests equal to me. You shall have no, no other God before me. Whatever receives your worship, whatsoever you bend and bow to is your God. Right. Habi can become your God. Oh, Wifi can become your God. Your car can become your God. The interest of your company Jesus. can become your God. Your paycheck can become your God. Whatever you are ready to compromise everything else mm. for is a God that you have placed before God. And then he began to explain, he said, the reason why I do not want you to have anything. And he mentioned the type of things. He said, not even a crafted thing or an image or whatsoever. He does not want anything that you have that you will exalt in comparison of him. I will say anything that you are not ready to leave because of God. You have lifted to be equal or above That's your right. God. 
Not that God wants your call, but are you ready to give your call away right. to God if he would have asked you to do so? Jesus. If the answer secretly in your heart is no, just know the car, that car is not a car. Mm. It's more than a car. Oh God. It is your God. Mm. If you have money saved in your account, would you be able to give it away if God would say to you, bring it to the altar? And if the answer is no, no, I can't depart myself from this. Just no. Whatever you cannot obey God for is too powerful for you than God. So in many ways, God seems to not have anything small or big in a picture, in the form of uh, a material and palpable things that uh, you will put in competition with me. And he explained and he says something that is critical. He said, for I am your God and the Lord your God is a jealous mm. God. The Lord your God is a jealous God. All that I've said so far was to get to the point that I hear him say, I am a jealous God. Oh God. Because I want you to go home today knowing that the Lord your God is a jealous God. Mm. So if you will give me just a little bit more of your time, I will just unpack it in a simplest way ever. Often time when we speak about jealousy, we put it together with envy and it is more pejorative to us meaning it is more negative to be jealous a jealous heart because we confuse often time jealousy and envy mm. god is light and purity is in him god has the highest level of perfection jesus there is no greater perfection than the perfection that is in god there is no wrong there is no sin in the lord our god so if jealousy is evil jealousy cannot be in god and god cannot properly say i am a jealous god this is a call for you to pay attention because jealousy is not envy. We use it together, but it is often important to stop and say, what am I saying? Assess the scriptures, know the context, because whatever you take out of a context can Jesus. become a pretext for anything you want. Yes. The context is key. You say, I am a jealous God. Now I begin by telling you, someone who is envious is somebody who is resentful and discontent toward someone else's achievement, someone else's belonging, someone else's possession. The envious heart is the heart of somebody who does not have and have an eye on what someone else has and feel, feels anger develops issues resents the person who has it and when you look around ladies and gentlemen many people die because just somebody envied what he had witchcraft in his best operates through division and envy right some of you the enemy has made you a full-time target simply because you look good you keep smiling they may not know what you go through right but every time they see you out looking so good, shining and walking in the way of the almighty God, their heart stops not knowing that you also have your own battles oh, yes. at home. They want to kill you. In envy, they resent you. Envy has entered churches. Envy yes. has been found in families. Envy has been in every industry out there, in every platform. Some people think that if you buy a car, they will never have an opportunity to ever buy a car. It's like you bought the last car available. They stop at nothing to fight you. They fight you over your watch. They will fight you over your hair. Your new dress doesn't bring joy to them. Hey. That's why I believe that it is one of the greatest form of naivety to think that everybody is happy with you. I tell you. Not everybody says amen to your prophecy. Mm -mm. Some people out there do not like your testimony. At all. When they see us excited, their hearts beat. Some people, when they hear the name Alf Lukau, they almost have a stroke. Okay, they, just, they just can't, they can't seem to be at peace with the fact that in 2023, you are still here. In 2023, oh, yeah. you are still pressing on. In 2023, you still have your mind saved. Thank you, Jesus. 
that is an envious art. And when the Bible speaks about jealousy with God, the Bible does not speak of God yes. as uh, an envious God. Because you see, jealousy deals with what you have that you want to protect. Oh, yes. Envy deals with what you do not have and you are resentful for. My Leave God. my husband alone. Leave my baby girl alone. Stay away from my relationship. Get yourself your own. Leave us alone. alone. Oh, wow, she's looking so beautiful, but it's not even her hair. I've got the slip in my bag. There are people who will never say a good thing. In every good sentence, they will say there is a bat. Oh, she prays well. She's all over day on fire. But we do not know what she does where she's not here. Right. Hey, brother, leave me alone. alone. Mind your own business. And if you want to speak to somebody, speak to my hand. Mm -hmm. now, can, I, can I just finish this? I said that I brought you this place to tell you this. Jealousy has to do with what you have. What you have that you want to protect. What you have that you do not want anybody to mess up with. What you have that you do not want to lose. What you have that you cherish, that you treasure, that, that you want to keep. And you want to you, you create a shield. You want to be a fortress for. You want to be a rampart for. You want to be a shield for what you have. And God is a jealous God. Because once God has something, he keeps it. He doesn't want to share it with any other God. He doesn't want the deliverance that he brought to you to be the subject to our celebration of any other God. I love him to be God who is jealous. Thank you, Jesus. Hear this. Quiet. 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 Let me tell you something about the jealous God. When the Bible say, the Lord your God is a jealous God, is the name of God, and that name is El Kana. God is El Kana. You see, the husband of the one who was right. a widow, mother of Samuel, was called Elkanah. Every time I read it, I say Elkanah. I did not know that, uh, that Elkanah was the name of God. And it meant God is a jealous oh God. God. And I love the jealousy of God. Because you see, the reason why the enemy cannot have it is way over me because my God is a jealous God. Oh, I will you do not allow the devil to have it his way. God treasures you. God loves you. God protects you. God takes care of you. God gives you. He will not allow him to have his way. God, even at the nick of time, El Tana will come. El Tana will say stop. El Tana will say no more. El Tana will say you cannot go past this line. El Tana will receive to you because you are the pride of your God. You are God's it. greatest idea. You are God's greatest investment. Oh, he will not allow his word to fall in vain. Somebody with a loud voice say El Kana. El Kana. Once again say El Kana. El Kana. You see, it is in love that jealousy manifests. <laughs> Somebody who loves you will be jealous over you. Sometimes we do it in a natural way where mama is checking on you, bringing her. Mm -hmm. And now, who is she? She's just making sure that nothing comes to mess up the things that she has been building for years. Yes. Elkanah. They stood against me. They came in the numbers. They say we got him where we wanted. I said, my heart, if you knew. Hey, my kind do not fall if you knew that I do not just fall I do not just it does not depend on you if you knew that my prosperity has not happened because of the lack of appetite of the enemy in pulling me down and the enemy still wants you but God say you're going some of you are here if it was not Elkanah, oh God, the enemy would have messed you up yesterday. Yes. But Elkanah, I receive this word. The jealous God. Yes. He said to every wizard in your family, "You won't get what is mine." He said to every witch out there, he said, no, you cannot get to her. You cannot get to him. This one is mine. This is my beloved son oh, in whom yes. I am well pleased. 
touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. Somebody help me, Hala El Kana. In the days of trouble, please remember, call your name El Kana. When you see the enemy getting close and shame is about to come to your home, call on him El Kana. El Kana. El Kana has the ability to Jesus. whip the enemy for three to four generations. Don't you mess up with El Kana. Mm. Uh, do whatever you want to do, but do not mess up with El Kana. <laughs> My El Kana, the one who holds me dear to him, he say, you will not die. You will live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the Amen. living. El Kana, he is the one who is able to bless the lives and the generations of those who love him up to a 1,000 generation. May El Kana be with you. I May El Kana protect you. May El Kana go to every bedroom with you. May El Kana see your interest in business. May El Kana fight battles for you. May El Kana keep you safe. May El Kana do it, El Kana. Is a jealous God, oh, yes. devil, you will not touch me, you will not permit you to walk in my yard and mess up with my life. That will never happen because El Kana, El Kana, El Kana, El Kana, the Lord Jesus. who brought us out of the land of Egypt is a jealous God. He keeps us close. He will not allow them Thank to you, have Jesus. their way. Thank See, you, if you Jesus. begin to understand what I'm telling you, you'll be bold. Yes. You'll be so bold that the enemy will think that you are just arrogant. It is not arrogance, it's called audacity. The audacity of your faith will be so pronounced. Your confidence will be so strong that they will not know how to figure you out. Right. Throw your hands in the air. Everyone, everyone those of you across the globe watching online, throw your hands. Thank the one who walked you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thank him who will not share you with the devil. Thank him who will not allow Satan to have a little stay in your home. Thank him, El Kana, the jealous God who holds you close to him and walks the walk with you. Begin to praise him and pray. Speak to him. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody thank 